Hi, we at the Crafts Council are here to offer you top tips on surviving the rest of this year's Christmas fairs. Display. Backdrop. Have you considered an attractive backdrop that makes you stand out from the rest of everyone else? It could be something really as simple as a sheet of eye-catching wallpaper that you can pick up from B&Q or other providers um, and just use as a set of display to enhance your work or if you have work that is wearable like textiles jumpers jewelry getting nice blown up photos a4 or a3 framed and used as a part of your display backdrop navigating your display labels can people read them 40 font is definitely a must also make sure people really understand can they touch your work? So it's either do not touch or please pick up and feel. Prices, really, really important. People really need to know how much things cost so they can make a judgment call on whether they want to ask you about it. And something that's quite nice is if you write it neatly in pencil, you can rub it quite easily away. So it's nice and discreet. Your social handle, really important. You want people to engage with you longer term so make sure that's clearly displayed your comfort really don't ignore this snacks protein snacks something like that just to keep up your energy levels really important a high stool unlike me you want to be actually sitting up at a level that can be eye to eye with people browsing your work otherwise you just look like you're disinterested in the whole fair experience but your comfort is necessary, so, so to pop yourself up in a high stool is a good way to break that up. Also take breaks, get to know your fellow exhibitors. Can they support you and give you a 10 minute break and keep an eye on your stand? Uh, if you don't have somebody else that you can ask to bring in and, and stand in for you for a while. Your customers really don't ignore them. It's about making sure that they're engaged in your product and you've got literally that snapshot of how to engage them. So we've already talked about the backdrop, but also offer an incentive. If do you or could you offer 10% of a first purchase or maybe some sweets that people can pick up and sign like your mailing list? Something that is engaging and kind of initiates a conversation so that you can build up a relationship with your customers. Also, a good way of trying to build up your mailing list and, um, and also building up a newsletter. If you haven't thought about it before, look at MailChimp as well as other providers because that handles your GDPR concerns. Dealing with cash sales. There are still people that want to buy using cash, even if it's like smaller items like cards or bigger items. So consider having a cash float. And if you don't know what that means, that basically means, um, say, 30 or uh, 50 pounds in change that you've kept securely and accounted for and have a cash record book so you can keep an eye on any small item sales. If you don't have a receipt book, just consider literally a piece of paper, um, write on it the item and staple your business card to that. And that can act as a receipt for somebody that requests one if they don't want to go digital. Follow up. This is really, really important to gain customer loyalty. Don't ignore it. As soon as the fair is finished, take the time and follow up on all emails or all sort of like um, conversations that you've had with people. It'll be really worth it in the long run. It's a long game in building up that rapport with your potential customers. Customer service. So we're right down to the final details. This could be simple things like having a mirror if you've got items that are wearable, you want people to trial them out. If you don't want people to try on earrings, you can have an earring holder that you, so people can literally place an earring beside their ear. So it's little tricks like that customer service, really important. And finally, making sure that your website's up to date. So when they pick up your business card and they pop home, they can look straight at your website and buy your product there and then.